Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So today we are predicting the IGCSE 0606 Ad Maths exams coming up very, very soon on the 4th of October and the 8th of October. And just like last year, again, we've been predicting from the last 17 papers going through both paper one and paper two. So we'll start here with permutations and combinations up here. So we've just creeped into the certain category here on paper one. Again, this is a very typical question that you see in front of you. Knowing the difference between C and P is crucial to making sure you get the marks on these questions. Then we have radian measure here and slightly down at 65% but again just about in the often category it fluctuates usually between often and almost certain. Again, these questions can be actually slightly tougher than some of the A-level maths paper one questions here. You can see a typical question right in front of you. Remember, we are working in radians. Again, notice there's no degree sign here. That is important. On to logs. Again, always a very important topic. One of the big differences between A-level maths paper one and ad maths. And we can see here we actually have to solve a log equation. Again, that's very, very typical for what's to be expected. On to graph sketching. Now, these kind of questions can vary. Notice we're up to certain here at 124%. And that's because of the sheer variety of question that you can have. So notice here, we actually have a trigonometric function. So you need to know these words like amplitude and period before we start sketching the function. But they could do some kind of polynomial function. So some kind of X cubed function, or they could go for a modulus function. That's always been quite popular as well. So again, over those different kinds of functions. You need to be able to sketch all those functions in an accurate way. Generally, as you can see here, these questions come towards the start of your ad maths exam. On to trig identities, again, slightly down here at 88%, but again, still in that almost certain category. Notice one of the big differences between A-level maths paper one and the ad maths course is you have to work with things like second cosec and cotangent. So make sure that you revise those and making sure you know those key identities so you can convert between them as well. Again, very typical question here in front of you, where actually you have to write Y in terms of X. So a little bit of rearranging here as well. On to quadratic, so we're here at 94%, so we're slightly down here. Again, this can appear in quite a few different forms. So in this one, for example, we're showing that x equals minus 4 is a root of the equation, and then using that to factorize as well. So even though this is a cubic and we're kind of using sort of factor theorem, remainder theorem ideas, quadratics is kind of seeping in here when we look at part b. On to differentiation, again, no surprise whatsoever here. It's 135%, just like in the May exams as well, so no change here. And these questions can vary quite a lot. Notice they've sneaked a little bit of logs in here as well for good measure. And times you get a word normal. In these kinds of questions, you know you have to differentiate. And notice this is a key word. I had a request for a slightly different video, different topic on those trigger words, this should be a trigger word for you as well. As soon as you see exact coordinates, you usually need to write this in terms of natural log or possibly E. So you're not looking for a decimal answer, you're looking for something very, very precise. And integration, its twin, of course, is also in the paper. Probably not as much as you think here, so only 100%. Usually differentiation is the big topic, but integration is also important as well. Notice that keyword exact form as well. It's also creeped into this as well, so you're expecting some kind of natural log or E again. That usually pops up in these kinds of questions. And knowing how to integrate using all the different rules that you've learned is very important. Again, if you get stuck on this, I did an A-level maths paper one video that goes over pretty much the same topics, and you'll find that above. Of course, all these topic frequencies, again, are all there for you, so you can see exactly what's appeared. Notice factor theorem of 41%. Again, even though that's strictly speaking true, it can creep into other topics as well. Notice we haven't talked about sequence and series now at 76% and coordinate geometry, so you do need to have a good basis in those particular topics as well. 
right on to paper two and factor theorem is creeped in here at 65%. So notice over the two papers, you really need to be able to do the factor theorem. It's a case of it could appear on paper one, appear on paper two, but it'll probably appear in one or the other. And usually the clue for that kind of question is a show that X minus one, X minus two, X plus three is a factor. As soon as you see that phrase, then you should be thinking factor theorem and remainder theorem. That's a good indication of this question It's going to come up. Logs here, again, slightly down on paper two, so it's more of a paper one topic, but still at 65%, so still quite a lot going on. Notice you need to know also your index laws as well. Again, we haven't put that as a specific topic, because that's usually pre-knowledge from the IGCSE courses, but again, very important and able to work with E and natural log. Sequence and series at no change here at 65%. Again, just like factor theorem that I mentioned earlier, it's generally going to appear on one of the papers, but again, generally not on both. And again, looking out for those words like geometric and arithmetic. These are keywords knowing exactly what kind of progression you have. And again, working with finding a particular term, working out the sum of a sequence or series, and also working backwards as well. Those are the fundamental skills that you need. Trig identity is slightly up on paper two here at 88%. Again, my commentary on the paper one is very similar to what it is on paper two, which is you need to be able to work with those identities. And notice here they've sneaked in a bit of integration here as well. This is one of the key differences between the standard maths courses and the ad maths courses. They are much more likely to mix and match topics within one question. On to quadratics, again, at 118%, again, so bigger slightly on paper two. And notice here, it could involve things like inequalities, for example. So even though this is not a direct solver quadratic, you need those quadratic skills to answer this kind of question. Again, towards the start of the paper, because it's not too far away from what you've already done in the IGCSE standard maths courses. Differentiation in slightly down, but also a whopping 188%. So that is huge. Again, this is a topic you should really revise as well. So here we've got a little bit of trigonometry also. And notice they like these kind of questions. So something to be aware of on ADMAS specifically to find the approximate change in y as x increases where h is small. So they do want you to work with that h method to show the differentiation process in action. Now, I might make a separate video on this because these questions do come up fairly often on paper two and it's something different to anything that I've actually put out on the channel so far. And of course, integration, it's twin again. <laughs> does appear, again, we've got these kind of things here. Again, this could be something like x minus one all squared. It's cut off slightly. Again, exact value, so that's important. Um, making sure that we can integrate, again, with slightly more difficult uh, integrations that may be something on A-level maths paper one. And here are the frequencies. Again, you can see everything here. Again, these topics, vectors, which we haven't had a chance to mention in this video, coming at 70% or 71%. So that's important to, to revise. Again, I haven't mentioned that so far in this particular video. But with these often topics, binomial expansion, we haven't talked about much in this video as well. It's one of those topics that will appear on one of the papers, but not a specific paper. And if you're looking to really just go over the entire course and revise it, this is the best video for you. So this goes through the top topics that you need to know that come up the most often over both papers. So if you want a crash course in all things ADMAS, this is the video, click on it in front of you.